How's it going there buddies? My name is Opti and welcome back to UFC 2 Ultimate Team, I was going to say EA Ultimate Team, whatever. Previously, we won the title, however though we failed to defend it in our first title defense unfortunately. Now, I've actually been playing around, around with this for just like a few minutes before recording and I've noticed that I had like some moves that were the same as other ones, as in like I had like rear hook to the body and stuff like that. But I had like cards that had like three stars and I didn't realize that you can actually use them to get little boosts. So that's why my stand up's gone up to 73 and my overall is now like 67 because by applying like the same rear hook to the body but as a level three card, it gave me little stat boosts, um, which is kind of cool. So hopefully we can get back to our winning ways. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I feel like I might have shot myself in the foot by making um, Papa Junk this small now it might cause a bit of problems later on in the divisions however though like I said cannot take anything away from the guy who beat me for the title because he just he was on point he had his fight game well on so back to the grind unfortunately but let's see if we can get back to our winning ways 4-1-0 is not actually a bad record so let's get straight back to it lightweight about Lee versus Junk there's no way that I can mispronounce that Chan Lee from Scotland. Well then, once again he's got a reach advantage. Yeah, I feel like I've shot myself in the foot with a reach advantage, especially since I've made him a stand-up artist. So I probably should work on his ground. Although I've just used the card to, you know, make his ground pound worse. But oh well. I mean, if you can use it quite well, then it's a really effective technique. Obviously, just trying to close in for the clinch. Then no chance, Mr. Lee. Fucking outside trip him. Wait, hang on. How did that work? Put him in a single collar. Single collar. Sing single collar. Ah, fucking hell, man. This clinch game's strong. See what I mean? I can't seem to defend. Um, I don't know how to defend in the clinch. Hey. It's a beautiful day. I think. Oh, no, I've got the outside. Oh, my God. Get on him, junk. Oh, shit. I can't even... There we go, fucking back to our winning ways in style, guys. One minute 30 into the first round and we pick up our win. Kudos to the guy though, I mean, the thing is I just need to learn how to use the tie clinch. I kind of just feel like he got, it was unlucky for him, he kind of just got caught. But he, I know that he will rebound. You see, I, the thing is, right, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can in this game because it's like, you know, everybody's on kind of a level playing field, if you know what I mean. So it's not a case of somebody's fucking... Conor McGregor has got like 99 fucking striking on this. Granted though, when it gets further up, I probably will start fucking bitching and moaning. But I'm trying being as respectful as I can. But five wins, one loss, and we are back to our winning ways. Let's jump straight into another fight. Junk. I feel like everybody that I've actually fought against has legitimate names and mine's just fucking Papa Junk. Already rocked him. Junk is hungry for that win. He's hungry for his title. Bam! Under a minute, I'm pretty sure the guy's saying something. I can't quite hear. He's probably bad mouthing me. I do apologize. But fuck me, man. That was amazing. First two wins back, and we just not even got through the second minute of the first round. I was getting that fucking kick. Sorry, I've been using it. It's just there. It's literally just there. Especially after saying that it's a bit OP. Okay, cool. I'll we'll open up the level 6 reward pack first. Fucking hell, man. I'm getting packs for days. So what on earth have we got? Rear naked choke, back mount fat. Nice. That's a universal. Chest master. Hmm. Ground. See, my guy's not really a ground specialist, so I'll wait for a little bit. But that's actually a good fucking haul. Let's open our first premium pack. Cheeky little ultimate team. Ooh, flying, I just spotted a flying guillotine. Looking good, heavy body punch, ground finisher. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I say not too shabby Alonso, but I've been watching too many, too much side men. Inward heel. He's spinning heel kick. No, you know, this is actually, these are some good hauls, not gonna lie. Some takedown actually, Greco Roman veteran. Take down toughness, kick speed blocking, right. You know what? 
you know I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna give it a cheeky shot. Might as well see if we can get us get our guy all rounded. Chin ho, kickboxing veteran. Okay, so applying that will literally just drop it back down. Well, it's not very fucking good, is it? But let's get our last fight of Z Day done because we have actually been doing quite well. We need a cheeky fitness card. Might as well. So if it's a number one contender fight, gotta have that stamina up. Even though there's not really that many, uh, the only thing about it is that like the shorts, there's only like two colours. Kind of a bland. There's like so much customization in the last one, but obviously the Reebok deal came in, so what can you do? Big bearded Davis taking on the man Junk. So she carried Tyrone Davis. And wow, he's got fucking really big reach advantage. I was actually tempted to say a really big dick, but <laughs> that's inappropriate. Just fucking use that spinning back kick to the body. This guy's actually pretty fucking decent, I'm not gonna lie. Right, go that take down. This guy can just get top mount quick. Oh, raining! Make it rain! <laughs> Did not even mean to duck under that Superman punch. That round was shocking. Guys, right proper peppering me on the feet. Oh shit, no, I'm out. Ooh, not just yet, not just yet. I will be though. Oh, I might as well just fucking try it. Wait, how the fuck? <laughs> throw down at the end of the round. Oh, I feel like this is going to be the next loss, guys. Oh, you can literally tell when I'm focusing because I just shut the fuck up. There's no way I can pull this back. I've got to knock him out. Ah, no, that's it. Fuck. I feel like that's. I think that fight has actually just proven that the reach advantage is a huge, huge problem. I think that might be one of the problems now with the Ultimate Team is that lightweights can be welterweights, if you know what I mean. So they've got like the four divisions, but if you're lightweight, you can make a guy basically a welterweight. That's where I feel like I fucked up. I just made him a genuine lightweight. So that is going to be my problem. I think I'm going to have to stop working on the stand up or at least get my movement going because. I'm gonna have to try and get in, out, in, out, like literally, oh, bad times, man. But, can't really complain, it's a learning curve. Slowly get there, guys, I will slowly get there. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Until next time, guys, catch you guys later. Fucking hell, man, he has been owning me these first two rounds. I've gotta fucking do something to come back into this. <laughs>